Very fast. Should we do that at the end, Lanti? Huh? The, the end? Precepts? At the end? At the end? The five precepts? Did you want to do that now? It depends on your own thing. This is the noble truth of suffering. In trying to understand, this is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. He tries to understand, this is the noble truth of cessation of suffering. He tries to understand, this is the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. For noble truth, for that thought. So what is if you want to understand for noble truth, then what is for noble truth? Perhaps you should try to understand. Number one is the noble truth of the suffering. <coughs> what is the noble truth of suffering? In this Mahasri Vrana Sutta, as well as Dhammachaka Bodhana Sutta, Buddha explains in different ways. Last, at last, Buddha taught, Sankhiti na bhinchu bhadhane khanda dhukha. In brief, five aggregates of klinge are dhukha. What are five klinge aggregates? Rupu bhadhane khanda, virinu bhadhane khanda, sinyu bhadhane khanda, singaru bhadhane khanda, vinyanu bhadhane khanda. In this way, Buddha taught. The clinging aggregate of materiality, the clinging aggregate of feeling, the clinging aggregate of perception, the clinging aggregate of formations, the clinging aggregate of consciousness. All together they are five clinging aggregates. In the case of the clinging aggregate of feeling, the clinging aggregate of perception, 
There are only one type of mental factor, feeling in perception. When both that dot aggregate, the reason is, in this case, what is the clinging aggregate of materiality, or what is the clinging aggregate of feeling, perception, etc. In Kanda Vaga, there is one Sauta called Kanda Sauta, and that Sauta Buddha is playing. Yagenchi Ruba Dida Nagata Bishopana Ijatama Bhidama Ararika Vasukuma Vahinama Bhidama Yadure Sandikewa Sasa Uba Daniya Ayya Ucheti Rupu Bhadane Khandro In this way Buddha is playing. What is the Glinga Aggregate of Madhiradi? Whether it is past or present or future, internet or external, cross or subtle, inferior or superior far or near, all 11 types of clinging aggregates, which are the object of text, is called the clinging aggregate of materiality. In the same way, the clinging aggregate of feeling, perception, etc., also both are taught in the same way. So, although feeling and perception are one mental factor, they are 11 types past feeling, present feeling, future feeling, internet is kind of feeling, gross or sub subtle feeling, inferior or superior feeling, far or near feeling, all 11 types of feeling are called the linking aggregate of feeling. In the same way, the 11 types of perception are called the clinging aggregate of perception. So because of this reason, all 11 types of clinging aggregates are called Dukkha, Sitya, the noble truth of suffering. According to Buddha's teaching, materiality, clinging aggregate of materiality, rests as small body gas called Kalabas. If you want to see this Kalabas, if you want to analyze this Kalabas, how you should practice? You must practice four elements meditation system medically. If you practice four elements meditation system medically one day, you can see clubbers. And then other than you should analyze this clubbers. Other than only you will understand ultimate materiality, ultimate truth. This is one object. Feeling, perception, formations, and consciousness, they are mental aggregates. In each mind moment, the, these four mental aggregates rise together, cease together, depending on the same place, they rise together, taking the same object. There are six, they arise, yet there are two types of mental aggregates or mentalities. Cognitive process mentality and process free mentality. In one life, past going up like Kundinia is called bad linking consciousness. Last going up mind state is called death consciousness. They are same that Between bad and that if there are no cognitive process, at the time going up mind state arise to maintain the life, or not to cease mentality. When any cognitive process arises, this life continues, stop. When any cognitive process ceases, then life continues, arise again. In this way, the whole life, life continues, maintain, not to cease mental process, mental series. So these two types of mentality also you must discern. There are six two cognitive process. I do cognitive process. I do ear do nose do tongue do body do mind do cognitive process. Six cognitive process. You must discern all these six two cognitive processes. But they arise according to series only. For example, I do cognitive process. 
if the object was a clear object. If you want to design this angle cognitive process, first you must design a transparent element. Secondly, you should design Poenga Mindo. Then thirdly, you should design a group of small particles color. We color in which both toes. At the day, I do cognitive process will rise. Mm? Of the I do cognitive process, here we rise when got my states. Of the, the I do cognitive process also will rise taking color object. So, in I do cognitive process, number one is I do everybody consciousness. Then, I consciousness, then receiving consciousness, then investigating consciousness, then decision consciousness, then seven impulsions, and then after that to reach a sorry mind consciousnesses. So according to this series, they are usually arise. Sometimes object is not clear, then they may stop after the impulsion mind movement. Sometimes the object is more and more not clear, then they may stop at the decision consciousness by moment. Sometimes if object is more and more not clear, other than just vibrating of mind up in it. So because of this reason, in each my moment, there are mental factors are always associated. At least there are eight types of mental factors are always associated. In some mind moments, like embarrassing mind moment, here maybe 34 mental factors are associated. When you design the ultimate mentality, you must try to understand this mind moment, these mental formations in each mind moment. So in each mind moment, they take the same object. Except I Consciousness mind moment. The other mind moments arise depending on heart pace. What is heart pace? If you design four elements in your heart, you can see a group of small particles. These particles are called calabas. If you analyze these calabas, then you can see a dimmed material. I consciousness in middle factors arise depending on eye pace. What is I base? If you want to understand I base, then you must take some four elements in I do. You will see only clubbers. And then if you analyze these clubbers, then you will understand ultimate truths, ultimate materialities. This I do community process takes the color object. Color arises as a small body gas, clubbers only. If you analyze this class, you can understand ultimate materiality. So, for example, in I consciousness, my moment, face, it says face is I transparent, I sensitivity face, <coughs> I transparent element. But this I transparent element has a small body gas, class. If you analyze clubbers at the day only, you get understand ultimate materiality together with I transparent element and sensitivity. They are material degree. Color is also material degree. The I consciousness is the aggregate of consciousness. There are seven mental factors, among seven mental factors. Feeling is the clinic brigade of feeling. Perception is the clinic brigade of perception. The remaining <coughs> five mental factors contain pollution, one pointedness, life continuing, attention, medicine, current. Life faculty, attention, medicine, current. All together, five mental factors, they are. The clinical aggregate of formations. The consciousness is the clinical aggregate of consciousness. All together, four mental aggregates. 
Base of the is medal aggregate of uh, uh, glinga aggregate of medallity all together in each my moment five aggregates. In the same way, other my moments also five aggregates. So, if you want to understand five aggregates clearly, then you should try to decide in each my moment there are every my moment there are five aggregates. These five aggregates you must try to understand. These five aggregates are the object of vipassana. These five aggregates are called the noble truth of suffering. But not only present five aggregates, there are past aggregates are also noble truth of suffering. Future aggregates are also noble truth of suffering. Internet or external, all are noble truth of suffering. Without understanding the noble truth of Sankari, can you realize Nibbana or not? This is one question. Hmm? Another is second noble truth, the noble truth of the origin of Safari. In Abhidhamma Vibhinga Pali, number one, craving is also called Samudhya Sikha. No virtue of suffering. Why? Craving is fundamental cause. If Arhas, by Arhat but knowledge, that's why craving, their commas cannot produce any more of that pranibana. So, if there is still craving, then karma can produce new existence. But if there is no craving, karma cannot produce any new existence. Because of this case, as a predominant factor, Buddha taught craving is Samudhya Sikha, the origin of Dukkha. But craving cannot rest alone. Always rest with associated mental formations. So, seven to ten types of defilements are also called Samudhya Sikha. But these ten types of developments also cannot rise alone, single. They rise as a group with associated mental factors and consciousness. So, in that way, both that the all unwholesome dhammas, agosala dhammas are also called the Sumuriya Sejas, the origin of suffering. But for human beings, for devas and brahmas, wholesome dhammas are main cause to produce new existence. So these Hosantamas are not the origin of Dukkha. So there is question. Because of this reason, Buddha also taught. Based on ignorance, craving, and clinging, if they accumulate Hosan or Ahosantamas, these Hosan and Ahosantamas are also called Sumuriya Sejja, the origin of suffering. Among these Hosantamas, Buddha also emphasizes Three roots, aloha, non-greed, adosa, non-hatred, amoha, non-delusion, these three are important. So because of this reason also put that thought, all unwholesome dhammas in these three roots are also called samuriya sikha. But it is also not that. Why? These three roots cannot rise alone. They always rise with associated mental formations. So because of this reason, number five put that thought, all wholesome dhammas and wholesome dhammas which can produce new existence are all called smuriya sikha, the noble truth of the origin of safari. But again, the Thayarana Sada of Ingodra Nikaya, Buddha taught smuriya sikha, the vision origination is smuriya sikha. All wholesome dhammas and wholesome dhammas which can produce new existence are also called smuriya sikha. The meaning origination is also called Samudhya Siddha. They are same meaning. Same meaning means based on ignorance, craving, clinging, all Hosa and Ahosa demands can produce new existence. In the same way, based on ignorance, Sankara formations rise. Based on, uh, depending on Sankara formations, 
We need not consciousness arise in this way both the truth and the being origination. They are same meaning. So because of this reason, there are five past causes, five present effects, five present causes, five future effects. Five past causes are ignorance, craving, clinging, foolish informations, and karmic force. Five present causes are Vinyana, Consciousness, Nama, Roba, Mentality, Materiality, Sanayana, Six Phases, Asa, Contact, Urena, Feeling. In other words, they are five degrees only. So because of the rising of past five causes, present five degrees arise. Because of the present five causes, future five degrees arise. If you understand in this way, we can say you understand the very origination. This the very origination is Samuriya Sija, the noble truth of suffering. The noble truth of the origin of suffering. These two noble truths, Toga Sija and <coughs> Samuriya Sija. The noble truth of suffering and the noble truth of the origin of suffering are called Formations. These formations are the object of vipassana. You must contemplate them as nature or dukkha or naga. System and daily. One day when you are inside knowledge become mature. At the dying, at the end of your insight part improving knowledge will arise. That part improving knowledge will realize nibbana as object. Hmm? That nibbana is the code. But noble truth, the noble truth of the path leading to this, the noble truth of the cessation, cessation of suffering, hmm? Niroda Sija. But at the day, path knowledge is associated with noble evil path. This noble evil path are called the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. So do not in brief, I want to explain Noble Eightfold Path. Hmm? Number one is Samadhiti. Samadhiti, they translate right view or right understanding. Number two is Samasangava, right thinking. Number three is Samavacha, right speech. Number four is Samagamada, <coughs> right action. Number Number five is Sama Ajiva, right livelihood. Number six is Sama Vayama, right effort. Number seven is Sama Sadi, right mindfulness. Number eight is Sama Samadhi, right concentration. Altogether, Nobel Eightfold Path. If we divide this Nobel Eightfold Path into two, there are two types of noble eightfold paths, Monday and Subra Monday. In this Mahasri Prana Sutta Buddha emphasizes only Monday noble eightfold path. In Monday noble eightfold path, what is Samadhi? Right understanding. Buddha taught in this Mahasri Prana Sutta, Dukhi Jnana. Dukkha Smuri Jnana, Dukkha Nirodhi Jnana, Dukkha Nirodha Gamini Yavri Vraya Jnana. The knowledge, the knowledge of Nova Truth of Safari, the knowledge of the Nova Truth of the Origin of Safari, the Nova Truth of the Nova Truth of the Cessation of Safari, the knowledge of the Nova Truth of the but leading to the Cessation of Safari. These four types of Knowledge are called Samadhi, right understanding. So if you want to fulfill or to follow Nova Eightfold Path, then number one, you must try to understand these four types of Nova Truths. Among these four Nova Truths, number one and number two, Nova Truth of Safari and Nova Truth of the Origin of Safari, these two are the object of Vipassana. When you are Contemplating these two types of formations as nature to another. Sama Sankaba always applying these two objects. 
อนิจจนิจจอดุกะนิจจอนัตตานิจจอ these formations these two noble truths สมาวัยมะ is right effort to understand อนิจจนิจจอดุกะนิจจอนัตตานิจจอ these two types of noble truths สมาสติ is always mindfulness on this นิจจนิจจอดุกะนิจจอนัตตานิจจอ these two noble truths สมาสมาดิ is right concentration At that day, this samasamadhi is vipassana samasamadhi. But before vipassana samasamadhi, Buddha taught samasamadhi as third jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana. Based on these jhanas, if they practice four elements, meditation, sesa, medigali, they can clearly see this adhimai, mental adhimai, material adhimai, clearly. So because of this reason, samatha jhanas also Buddha taught samasamadhi as samasamadhi. But in this case, when they are contemplating vipassana, at the day, samasamadhi means the concentration on the nature, nature, dhoka, nature, or another nature of these four, two noble truths, dhoka, sejja, and smuriya, sejja. This concentration is called samasamadhi. This is momentary samadhi, kaniga samadhi. While you are contemplating vipassana, before you are practicing vipassana, usually you observe precepts. You abstinence from wrong speech, abstinence from right wrong action, abstinence from wrong livelihood. These are morality, three depth, the training of morality. So based on This training of morality, you practice samatha jhanas, then you practice vipassana. At the day, noble eightfold paths are present. To understand this noble eightfold path, when you are contemplating vipassana, when you are inside knowledge become mature at the day, again you must also contemplate your inside knowledge as nature to God nada. When you are contemplating your inside knowledge as nature to God nada, There are 34 mental formations. 34 mental formations are always associated with your insight knowledge. Among these 34, there, there are Samadhiti, Samasangabha, Samawayama, Samasadhi, Samasamadhi. These five noble, noble paths are always present. So at the day you will understand these noble paths. Again, sometimes you must contemplate Sama Vacha, Sama Kamada, Sama Ajiva, right speech, right action, right livelihood. These three noble parts also you must contemplate as nature to God and other. They are also always rest of cognitive, cognitive process and with associated mental formations. Other than also you will understand these three types of noble truths. So when you are contemplating vipassana, you can understand Monday noble eightfold path. When you are inside, become mature. One day, at the end of you are inside. But improving knowledge will arise, which realize nibbana as object. Hmm? At the day, but knowledge is associated with noble eightfold path. These noble eightfold paths are. Subra Mandi Noble Eightfold Path. Other than Samadhi is right understanding to the Nibbana object. Samasangabha is obligation of the mind to the Nibbana object. Samawaima is right effort to understand the Nibbana object. Samasadhi is right mindfulness on the Nibbana object. Right mindfulness of the Nibbana object. Sama Samadhi is right mindfulness of the Nibbana object only. Other than Sama Vaja, right speech, Sama Kamanda, right action, Sama Ajiva, right livelihood, these three are also present. Altogether, there are noble eightfold paths. These noble eightfold paths are called Subramandi noble eightfold paths. 
So do a do a day Subramani Noval in full part. You must try to fulfill Monday Noval in full part. Past, hmm? So after the we was in inside big time mature at the now we was in inside Subramani Noval in full part with Christ. So all together there are four noble truths. Without understanding the, these four noble truths, one meditator can realize Nibbana or not, can destroy all defilements or not. Hmm? Maybe at the beginning of our tomato, hmm? we coated one soda, hmm? uh, so clear soda. Hmm? I will recite this soda again. Hmm? Again, I say, again, because I say that. The destruction of the day, the days is for one who who knows and sees, not for one who does not know and does not see. For one who knows what, for one who sees what, the destruction of the days, the days comes about, comes about. For one who knows and sees. This is the noble, uh, the destruction of the days comes about for one who knows and sees. This is the noble truth of suffering. This is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. This is the noble truth of the, the cessation of suffering. This is the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. Because it is for one who knows that. Who sees that it is for one who sees that that the destruction of the days comes about. Therefore, because an exertion should be made to understand this is no way true of suffering. An exertion should be trying to understand. An exertion should be made to understand. This is the no way true of the origin of suffering. An exertion should make to understand. This is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. In exaggeration, in should make to understand. This is the noble truth of the but leading to the cessation of suffering. In this way, put that thought. Hmm? So, because of this reason, without understanding of four noble truths, one cannot attain rahasip. If one cannot attain rahasip, one cannot be a noble one. So please try to understand Ponova truths. To understand Ponova truths, how you should write this? Again, again, I had been told. Hmm? I had told. Samadhi Bhikkhu Bhavita, Samadhi Bhikkhu Bhikkhu Yata Buddha Bhajana Bhikkhu Develop Concentration. A Bhikkhu who is concentrated understand the Tamas as they really are. But Tamas will understand. He will understand that this is the word truth of suffering. This is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. This is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. This is the noble truth of the but hidden to the cessation of suffering. And this we put that thought. So please emphasize concentration also. Based on concentration, please based on ultimate mentality, material in their causes, and contemplating as nature to correct One day, when you are inside Vedam with you, you may realize Nirvana by your part in Christian knowledge. May all of you at the Nirvana very soon. <laughs> <laughs>
So all together in Guyana Gautina Chitranda put that dot, put in ways. In the same way, another is Gurina Nupasana session, another is Chaitanya Nupasana session. In the Dhamma Nupasana put that dot, put session. Number one is Pat Nivrana session, hindrance session. Number two is six sense basis session. Uh, and number three is Pat Grigate session. Number four is seven enlightenment factors session. Number five is four noble truth session. All together they are. Uh, Seven, one, one, five, 21. 21, 21 sessions. Each session, whether you are practicing Kayani Vasana or maybe any session, at the beginning, for example, Anabana, at the beginning, you must listen Anabana of the Pope Jana, it is true. But based on Pope Jana, again, you must try to design ultimate mentality, ultimate materiality. And then they are causes, and then you must contemplate them as a nature to that matter. If you can do it in this way, then you get a great hardship. So, Anabana session one also not. At the beginning, Buddha emphasized only Gaya, Rupa Gaya. Although Rupa Gaya alone cannot, uh, uh, if you contemplate <coughs> ultimate materiality alone, you cannot realize Nibbana. Because of this reason, you must also contemplate ultimate mentality as nature to God. When you are contemplating mentality, here yeah, are. Uh, Three ways. Number one is you may emphasize feeling. But feeling alone cannot arise. Feeling always arises with associated mental information. So if you emphasize feeling, then you, you should also discern associated mental information. But feeling arises depending on base. Without base, feeling cannot arise. Without object, feeling cannot arise. Base and object are ultimate materiality. So, if you emphasize feeling, then ultimate mentality, mentality, all are included. In the same way, if you emphasize consciousness, you can emphasize consciousness, but consciousness always arises with associated mental formations. To show this meaning, Buddha says in Chaitan Nupasana, Saragama Chaitan Saraga Chaitan Dipachana, the consciousness with craving, you must try to understand. The consciousness with craving, etc. In this way, for that hmm? So, associated mental formations also in much case. They also rise depending on base. Taking materiality as object. So, object and base are ultimate materiality. Consciousness and associated mental formations are ultimate materiality. So, same. Hmm? Then, five Greek mother, five hindrances mother, six uh, dwell. Six sense based method, hmm? all are nearly the same. So, in every case, in every session, if you practice systematically and thoroughly, you can attain Nibbana. But, Buddha explained in conclusion if you practice in this way only, not other way, <laughs> if you practice diligently in this way, within Seven days eh, or within seven years, you can realize Nibbana. You can be a Nagami or you can be a Arhat. In this way, for that talk. But this is as a missing man. Hmm? And one so that, like Bodhi Raza Kumara, Chokda, Buddha says, if he admonish one disciple, he can be a Arhat in the evening. In this way, also for that talk. So because of this reason, this is Mazima only. Hmm? So if you write this according to Mahasri Brana so that way, hmm? you may realize Nibbana. Okay. Any question? Any question? Uh, so the, I, I, it's not a question, it's, a, it's an appreciation. You've come all the way from Burma to teach us this path of purification leading to liberation. And teaching this full understanding of the true Dhamma in our language 
and also transmitting with Polly the real Dhamma. Mm. So this is historical and profound and the gift of truth excels all other gifts. Thank you. Any question? <laughs> no question. <laughs> you can discuss openly, no much problem. Hmm? Many questions, that's not finished, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a question. I, I, I would just like to make a gift, if, if I may. And so I have a couple of things I'd like to say, if it's okay. Um, I'd like to dedicate the uh, um, Rupa Kalapas in that, in that projector <laughs> uh, to uh, Venerable Pa'ak Sayadaw. Uh, the teachers uh, and monks uh, and nuns of Pa'ak Monastery. Uh, and I want to thank you for presenting the teachings of the Buddha in such a pure, sweet, and funny way. Uh, I want to thank also Sister Dipankara, she's not here, of course, uh, Venerable Sudha, Sudhamachara, and Sister Susila for their fine teaching. Uh, I thank Kim, Robert, Astrid, and Sergio for providing essentials, uh, and the yogis who helped me make progress, and everyone else for providing a supportive environment, and Dr. Kwang Wu for driving me to Santa Rosa today in his rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'd like to uh, share uh, uh, merit with everyone here, uh, with my father and those in the lower realms and present this uh, projector to you. And I don't know if we can set it up quickly, but I can just show you a brief picture of some tropical birds, if you'd like. see the pictures. Yes, but it's going to take a few minutes. Okay. It comes with a three-year international uh, service <laughs> warranty. <laughs> so if you have a problem, you just call a, a number, and they'll find a place in Asia to, to, to uh, support it. And you can see the projector is only three or four feet away from the screen, and the screen is about that size, and, and the maximum is 15 feet wide. a little slow so we have to see if, if, if it's going to take a few minutes
Did you, Robert? Just turn it on. Yeah. Is that for the new year? The ones from the first day are in another disc. Sahat, Pancha Sila, Pancha Sila, Gamaya, 
ญาจามิธรรมญาจามิอนุกรรมกัตวะอนุกรรมกัตวะสิยันเดตะสิยันเดตะมิบันเดมิบันเดดิยังบิดุดิยังบิอัมบันเดอัมบันเดอิสระเนนะสะฮะอิสระเนนะสะฮะปัญชาสิลาปัญชาสิลาธรรมญาจามิธรรมญาจามิอนุกรรมกัตวะอนุกรรมกัตวะสิลันเดตะสิลันเดตะมิบันเดมิบันเดปัติยังบิปัติยังบิอัมบันเดอัมบันเดอิสันเนนะสะฮะอิสันเนนะสะฮะปัญชาสิลาปัญชาสิลาธรรมญาจามิธรรมญาจามิอนุกรรมกัตวะอนุกรรมกัตวะสิลันเดตะสิลันเดตะมิบันเดมิบันเดอาบัติโมดัสปะกาวโดรหัดโดสัมมาสัมปุกดัสสะนะโมดัสสะภะคะวะโตอาระหัตโตสัมมาสัมปุกดัสสะนะโมดัสสะภะคะวะโตอาระหัตโตสัมมาสัมปุกดัสสะนะโมดัสสะภะคะวะโตสารนังกัจจามิสังกัสสารนังกัจจามิบุรัมสารนังกัจจามิธรรมังสารนังกัจจามิสังกัมสารนังกัจจามิทุดิยมบิดบุรัมสารนังกัจจามิทุดิยมบิดธรรมังสารนังกัจจามิทุดิยมบิดสังกัมสารนังกัจจามิทุดิยมบิดบุรัมสารนังกัจจามิทุเรียนพิธามังสารนังกัจจามิทุเรียนพิสังกัมสารนังกัจจามิตัดยามิบุตรังสารนังกัจจามิตัดยามิธามังสารนังกัจจามิตัดยามิสังกัมสารนังกัจจามิตัดยามิบุตรังสารนังกัจจามิตัดยามิธามังสารนังกัจจามิตาลิยมปิสังกัมสารนังกัจจามิอิสระนักมนัมปริบูนัมอาณาบัตเตปานาดิบาดาอุระมณีสิกาบดังสมาดิยามิปานาดิบาดาอุระมณีสิกาบดังสมาดิยามิอาดีนาดานาอุระมณีสิกาบดังสมาดิยามิอาดีนาดานาอุระมณีสิกาบดังสมาดิยามิชาจาราอุระมณีสิกาบดังสมาธิยามิคามิสุมิชาจาราอุระมณีสิกาบดังสมาธิยามิบุสาวาดาอุระมณีสิกาบดังสมาธิยามิบุสาวาดาอุระมณีสิกาบดังสมาธิยามิสุราเมรียมิจับมาดาธานาอุระมณีสิกาบดังสมาธิยามิสุราเมรียมิจับมาดาธานาอุระมณีสิกาบดังทิสระนีนาสหะปัญชาสีนาสันดุกังกัดวาจมะอุบมาดีนาสัมบาดีธาอามาบาเจโอเค May I just remind everyone that Kurt made this magnanimous gesture and let us all rejoice in his giving. Sadu sadu sadu. Thank you. Maybe. See any money? You are part of. Oh yeah. And everyone here. Yeah. And everyone here. Yes, yes. Please follow. Please see the people. Yes. The outcome is based on the number of people. Oh, the number of people. What is your part of? Your part of name? Ah, Harold. Harold. Okay. You can. You can transfer. Sharing my, you can transfer my. Please follow a little bit of time. Ida me bonya, Ida me bonya, Mama bijuya, Mama bijuya, Tema, Tema, Ida me bonya bagang, Ida me bonya bagang, Mama bijuya, Mama bijuya, Pajema, Pajema, So. So, tampong nya 
Because of this merit, because of this Hosan Tamas, you may be protected by all Devas. May you be protected by all Devas. May you be all. Their day to day life, what they've tasted on retreat, how do they um, keep the practice going and is it possible to deepen the practice in ordinary life? They can maintain their concentration it may be possible. But human life is very difficult to see because we have many duties. So because of this reason, as far as they can, they should practice. In daily activity, there may be many wholesome and wholesome demands oh, will be welcoming. So when a whole son of us are coming every day, please quickly neglect, neglect. How you should neglect? Sabri, Sankara, Nija, everything is impermanent. <laughs> this is a good way. Hmm? Yeah. This is one reason. Another reason is <coughs> you should always reflect the danger of a whole son of us. They will produce to be reborn in four whole states. Always remember this. So in this way, uh, reflecting this way, you should neglect any Ahosan Tamas. As far as you must accumulate Ahosan Tamas, how you should accumulate? If you are practicing Anabana, as far as you can, you must pay attention to the Anabana object only. In daily life, it is not easy for higher concentration. But Sometimes you may have any opportunity to sit. Hmm? Other than you may be able to concentrate your meditation on, on your meditation object. So some persons among this hmm? meditators so are successful partially. Partially means some type of meditation may be successful. Hmm? At least two or three hours a day they should meditate. To maintain this concentration only. If they cannot do, there yeah, are many problems. <laughs> many problems if you do not remember this meditation. Meditation object also will not remember to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is natural. So, as far as you can, you should maintain your concentration not to fall down. Hmm? But daily activity is very difficult. But or daily activity, if you announce that a bit of it is very helpful. Hmm? Or this is a wholesome dhamma, I must not accept this wholesome dhamma. <coughs> this is a wholesome dhamma, I must accumulate this wholesome dhamma. In this way, you can distinguish. If you do not announce that what is wholesome dhamma, what is a wholesome dhamma, it is not easy to reject a wholesome dhamma and to accumulate wholesome dhamma because you do not announce that. So please try to understand oh, this is a wholesome dhamma, this is a wholesome dhamma. I must reject this a wholesome dhamma, I must accumulate this wholesome dhamma. In this way you should have such strong confidence. Such type of confidence is until it really is very necessary. Hmm? So please try as far as you can. Hmm? Okay. 